Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com, the forum, and today is August 22nd, 2015, and it's a gloomy Saturday here in Shanghai, China. Yeah, this is like the weather report channel now, isn't it? <laughs> kind of cloudy, a uh, little bit rainy, yeah. So I might have to turn my sunshine on, check it out. Dunk. That's bright. This is my little um, little sunshine lamp. Get some get some looks. So I don't know if it's working very much though. So. Uh, anyway, this is just a quick answers video to some of the questions that you guys have posted on the pro section of the howtomakemobilegames.com forum. Uh, I've not done uh, some answers videos in a few days um, uh, this past sort of week. Uh, so I think maybe 10 days I've not done an answers video. So I'm going to do a bunch of them now hopefully um, and spend this afternoon catching up with you guys because it's, uh, you know, I love doing this and it's great and I'm sorry that it's been delayed. But this uh, this reply, this video is the How to Make Mobile Games Pro video section on the Facebook marketing for mobile games. So I posted a video on there uh, a couple of weeks ago and Dharma you said uh, I've come to the conclusion that generally it's not prof profitable to invest in Facebook advertising at least with small amounts of investment uh, the real question seems uh, to be is the money investing giving you a positive return on investment I am not sure here with advertising for small independent games the money you get per user is usually smaller than the money you pay per user yeah that's true with small games the ARPU is very low the average revenue per user so we need to find a way to do Facebook marketing in a very cheap, easy and automatic way. So in our case, we're posting on Facebook now, but we're using automatic posting software. Um, there's a lot of different software programs that are available. We're also doing the same on YouTube as well. We use a, a software package on there to automatically post messages onto YouTube. Not had much of a big impact on YouTube. Facebook seems to be much better at the moment. So that's what we're doing. Uh, and that's really cheap. That's only like for the for the subscription to the software for Facebook is only ten dollars each month. And so far, it seems to be going pretty well. But we needed to build up the user uh, accounts on Facebook first. So it it's a little bit tricky sometimes. But um, we can't pay somebody, you know, a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars each month to just sit there and post on Facebook. Uh, it's not worth the money because the ARP for the games is so low and it's extremely boring for somebody to do that So it's much better for us to just post through automatic software and just let it run on the computer um, In terms of like seeing how the clicks and in investment goes. <laughs> I'll just give you an example So we're tracking all the clicks in bitly at the moment uh, bitly.com and we're posting all all of these on Facebook and we've got them here and this is just for an example for our you escape sometimes two on android so we've posted these on a bunch of android groups and tracking the clicks here and you can see that they're coming from facebook mainly so that's good to see um usually from the facebook.com site now that's a, that might be a bit of a problem because that means people are clicking on the browser uh not on the mobile device i think the yeah this is the mobile device and i think this one is the mobile device so, um, but actually tracking the impact is a little bit difficult because the clicks on a, a, a PC or a Mac uh, cannot be tracked in to installs on the device. So we can't track the installs if, if they click on, on uh, a web version. And we can't track the installs usually if they click on the app version of Facebook as well. But so we have to sort of like try to match the clicks and the dates. So for example, here we got 83 clicks on August the 9th and on August the 9th here we did see some kind of increase there so that could be due to that it's not super clear but it looks like that could be due to that one um, so this is how I usually do it uh, and then August the 16th was 75 clicks August the 16th 75 clicks so on roughly the 16th we did also have a, a better day there you know compared to previous days uh, the day before was pretty good so that might be also due to those that number of clicks let me see was it bigger so it was still kind of big yeah so that's the way that we can that's the way that we sort of track it but it's it's a little bit difficult to do uh, but this game has increased in terms of like um, overall downloads this past couple of months and we've been doing Facebook 
marketing and posts for oh maybe six weeks now or maybe two months uh, and this is this is what we've seen so far so that's cool to see there also guys there also has been some um a B testing icon and screenshot testing in Google Play. This is the Google Play version that I'm looking at um, to improve this. So here I also have added a couple of like different screenshots. I'll need to check the dates exactly. This is, um, but this is one of the problems with Facebook marketing. If is the tracking, you know, how, why is this happening? You can't market too many games at once because you need to track what is working or is not working. But this is great to see. I mean, since the end of uh, July, we just had like, you know, five a day. And look at that. It's just going up and up and up and up and up. Uh, this past day here is also another reason that I'll explain in, in a different video. But it looks like the Facebook marketing is, is having another impact. It is having some good impact. So uh, at the moment for Facebook marketing, we're only posting on... Um, uh, we're only posting on groups. We're not doing paid Facebook marketing. We're just posting on uh, game groups, iPhone groups, and uh, we're trying to make it cost effective. So like I said, we're using some automatic posting software to do that. Um, we're also trying to expand that into Twitter, also into Tube Toolbox, um, sorry, on YouTube, and then also for uh, some other sites, but we've got to figure that out. For example, like automatic email marketing, we tried MailChimp. So this is what we do, but we're focusing on Facebook since it is the main area. We also seen a bit of an increase in ARPU because the the target group is uh, uh, mainly North American and UK, and they pay a higher cost per install when it comes to ads. So ARPU did increase a little bit, but yeah, you've got to make sure that you're not. Um, You've got to do a rough calculation of ARPU. You know, if you're posting, like, if, if, if we're paying somebody $500 a month to sit there on Facebook and post, post, post all day, are we making that $500 back, yes or no? <clears throat> Probably not. So it has to be through some kind of automatic, um, hands-off process. So, yeah, it's a difficult one to track, though, for sure. Uh, second question by XDBookX. Uh, I heard that bot clicks are rampant on Facebook. Uh, one developer I know spent a large amount of money on Facebook ads campaign. He got a ton of clicks, but this analytics showed that it was bots. Almost no new user actually played his game. I don't think it hurts to post your post on your fan pages or on Android app groups, but be careful about paying any ads on Facebook. Martin, your statistics does show that you an increase in users with starting the Facebook postings, but I'd still be wary of the clicks that are on uh, on the Bitly links are bots. Yeah, that's true. I also heard the same thing, and I'm gonna uh, find a video now. I actually heard the same thing that Facebook does do like uh, bot clicks which is just terrible to think think of I think it's just um, oh it's horrible uh, I'm just find this one second guys Facebook this was a really good video I'm just finding on YouTube um, about a, quite a well-known channel and a guy that I really like to watch uh, it's Veritasium have you heard of Virtual Bagel their Facebook page had... this one here so uh, this is uh, Veritasium 2 Facebook and the video is Facebook fraud. So I'll post the link in this video in the uh, reply to the post as well. But this guy did like a kind of deep analysis on like Facebook clicks and he his conclusion was that, yeah, a lot of them did seem to be bot clicks, which is a major problem. So for us, we always have to like check the clicks here and then try to kind of align it to any kind of increase in... Uh, in the actual downloads and we use chart boost to track the downloads so uh, but we could use something else we could use app Annie or, or whatever so uh, but Facebook marketing did happen you know has happened this past few weeks uh, maybe one to six one month to six weeks and we have seen an increase overall uh, but like I said this does include some kind of description updates as well uh, but I think maybe Google is also ranking games higher if there's backlinks to their games. So the more posts that you do with links to your games, the more that Google will increase the weighting of your game, the higher they will rank you overall. So, um, yeah, but we're going to do more of this and uh, try to figure out how to improve it, how to get better. Vary the ads as well, guys. If you do Facebook posts, make sure that you try to test different types of ads. We tried... Um, 
Uh, we're doing advertising now for uh, uh, Kill the Ragdoll Boss on Facebook, and we, I think we had like a, a an image that we were posting, and it wasn't very interesting, and it was getting some clicks, but then we changed it to show a different image of the game, and we also changed the text to say, uh, do you want to kill your boss, or is your boss an arsehole? Yeah, so, and that actually got more clicks, because... When you when you ask the question, do you want to kill your boss? Most people will be like, yeah, you know, like psychologically, they'll probably say yeah in the head, and that makes them want to click on the link and find out more about the game. Uh, but make sure in your images you are showing something interesting. You know, don't just show like a boring screenshot because users have seen it a million million times. So definitely change it around and try to find out what's working and what's not working, and then track it. And tracking is difficult of course you know but just focus on one or two games guys we're only doing for facebook we're only focusing on one or two games to really see the impact we're not doing it on all games because we can't at the moment so um anyway i'm going to do some more answers videos guys i'm going to leave it at that uh, if you are seeing this video on on youtube on the free channel guys definitely come over to howtomakemobilegames.com and uh, this is the forum where everyone's asking and answering questions and posting about their games um, this one is in the pro section that you're seeing this thing here, sorry, just to show you. Uh, all of the pro videos are on here as well, which is the paid section of the forum. Uh, but you don't have to go on there, you can go on the free section, just go to howtomakemobilegames.com. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope to see you guys there and more videos coming soon. See you later guys, bye!